It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today I am taking a look at this big box game from Zoc, which as you can see is in German, but translates to the devil with it. And this game is a push-your-luck game in which you are going to be revealing pieces of coal from the cauldrons of hell and hoping to make your bid that you have previously made and, and walk away with the most money. It's a bizarre theme, but the game is very attractive and uh, has very wonderful components. Is it a good push-your-luck game? Let me show you. This is what the game might look like set up at the beginning. In this case, we are looking at a game here with four players, hence the four pawns here. Each player starts with 200 with these wonderful poker chips. They're really high quality. And so we mark the pawn on the 200 there. And the objective of the game is to come around this track here. And when someone gets to 1600, have the most money. So once we hit that, that's the last round. We count up. Whoever's got the most is the winner. Each round of the game, we are first going to make a, a, uh, a bet, basically, of how much we think is going to be revealed here in coal from the center. And these are all face down now, but you'll see them in a second. Of how much we think a single player is going to be able to reveal. And this is a simultaneous bid. So, for example, I have my 200 here, and I say someone's going to reveal 50 at least. And every player will do that, so I'll just put them here for now. Let's say I said 50, this player said 100, this player said 120, and this player said 40, let's say. So that's the first thing that happens, and then from the start player onward, we are going to actually reveal coal and this is a pusher luck mechanism in which you can stop whenever you want to or once you reveal a devil then you have to stop so let's say it's me first and I'm going to reveal coal starting from there that's 25 I'm gonna keep going that's 10 I have not made my uh, my bid yet because I would like to get to 50 at least so that I get paid out and so I'm gonna keep going and that is uh, plenty. That's 50, 60, uh, 70, 85. So I can stop there and I'm going to keep these in front of me. I have now made my bid. So at the end of the round, I'm going to get paid my 50. I've also made this player's bid at 40. So they're going to get paid 40. These two players here, the 100 and the 120, they don't have theirs yet. So they are going to try to press it so that they make at least their money. Here's uh, a couple of other reasons why you might want to bid high and make that money back. If you are the one who made the biggest uh, bid here, so 120, if any player makes that much, you are going to get back your money twice. So 120 here is actually going to get 240 if anybody pulls that much. Also, at the end of the round, anybody who got the highest amount in their pool is going to get a bonus 50 bucks here. And whoever got the most pieces of coal without getting a devil, again, both of those are without getting a devil, will also get 50. They could possibly go to the same player. So this is my pool. It'll be the next player's pool here. They're going to go 20, uh, 45, 95 and they got it they're going to stop they're happy with that and they also got four pieces of coal which is pretty good they're winning that bonus right now uh, this is uh, already enough to pay this character here this player so they're real happy and so they'll flip they got a devil right away this is discarded aside and good thing that this player made that bet for them too or they would have not gotten the 120 and then this player is going to go. They got a devil right away. There are nine of these devils, by the way, in here. And so that's it. And now each player who made their, uh, their bid is going to get paid. So this player gets their 50. This player gets their 100. 120 here 
gets, as I said, double their amount, so 240. And the 40 bucks here gets 40. And this player got both bonuses for the most and the highest amount. So most coal and the highest total that they pulled without busting. So they get 50 and 50, which is 100. You take back your money and you are going to recalculate how much you have and adjust that on this track here. These are all discarded. And so let's say you have exactly 300, you would go exactly on the 300. But if you have between 300 and 500, then you go in the space between, or between 500 and 750, you go on the space between. So you, so people don't know exactly how much you have. You only end up on these spots if you have exactly that much. So two more things to discuss before we're done here. The way you refill the amount of coal here is if they all fit within that section there, the mouth of the cauldron. So if they all fit in there, like uh, so, let's say, then you, you flip all these over and add them back in and shuffle everything up, okay? So for right now, we would not do that yet. We would just keep going with what's in here, which is good information because we know how many devils are out. We know uh, the distribution of these that is out, and there's, in fact, a, a couple hundreds in there. Uh, so that's one thing. That's how you replenish this. There is also something that the game calls making a pact with the devil, which means, let's say all these players have moved up like that. Whoever's in last place enters into a pact with the devil, which means they lay out their money openly on the table, but this round, while they're in last place and exclusively in last place, this would not work. You have to be alone in last place, or it does, or in this spot here, which means anybody could be in there, multiple people, or alone, elsewhere, then every time someone reveals a devil, they have to pay you 50 bucks from their amount, okay? So, and, and then at the end of that round, then we'll readjust, and if again there's a single person alone in last place for the next round, then they enter into a pact with the devil. So that's pretty much the game. You continue doing this. These pawns are going to move up and up, and when anybody ends a round, counts up, and is in here... Uh, you know, let's assume a couple of people are in there and these two are in here. Then you count up all your money. Whoever's got the most, which is at least 1600 is the winner of the game. And that's how you play. As I said before, I think the game is a, a spectacular looking game. I like the artwork on the, on the board. I love the uh, tokens for the uh, coal. The player pawns are nice and chunky wooden tokens. The money is spectacular. I mean, it's these wonderful poker chips, and they are customized with the artwork from the game. The numbers look like the numbers on the board, and so it's it's amazing. The production's wonderful. I do have a, a little issue with it, and that is that I wish it included more money, especially for more players, because I you know it's a little hard to make change for everybody when you're playing with five, six players, and uh, you're running short on the poker chips. You know, there's just... There's not enough of them to have the exact amount you might want to bid, etc. So that's an issue with the game. I also find it to be a little long, especially, again, with more players. But I do think the game is better with more players. It, it, it has a nicer amount of tension. It's got more going on. So I do recommend it with more players, but be aware it is a little bit longer with more players also. So, um, I, you know, I, I, if it was a little bit shorter, I'd be even, even happier with it. But as it is, it's a really great game, wonderful push-your-luck game. It, uh, it stands out on the table, it engages everybody. You can, you know, have a, a great tension pulling those uh, coal tokens over and flipping them over. Oh, I'm going to get just one more. Boom, you got that devil. Oh, no. And so it's, it's a really great, tense a party almost kind of atmosphere that built around this game. So I, I would recommend it if you are uh, looking for a, a nice, I mean basically overproduced party game or push your luck game, then I recommend you check this one out. The Devil With It, a very good looking game and a nice push your luck exercise for a big group. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.
You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.